Thank you for choosing Panda Express. My name is Andre. Would you like to try a new steak and shrimp with your meal today? Um, no, thank you. All right. How can I help you today? Can I get um, a plate? Sure. Would you like to do it with the rice or chow mein? Chow mein. Chow mein. And for your entrees? I'll take orange chicken and um, mushroom chicken. Chow mein, orange chicken, and the mushroom chicken. What else for you today, ma'am? And then can I get a small Mountain Dew? Small Mountain Dew? Yeah, and then yes, an order of the cream cheese Rangoons. Hi, you Peter Chips. Welcome back to another video. Today is a very exciting and fun video. Today I am doing a mukbang. I am super excited because I personally love watching mukbangs. This is my first ever mukbang, and it's going to be kind of like a story time. I'm going to tell you guys about the time that I stole makeup, and I'm going to be eating and chit-chatting with you guys, so I'm super excited for that. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so I did get Panda Express. I am so excited. So I ended up ordering, oh my God, I have not ate all day and I'm extremely hungry. So this is what I got. Oh, look at that. We got chow mein, orange chicken, and then mushroom chicken over here. Does that look so good? So this is the like plate that I got. And then I got some rangoons which, oh, with cream cheese inside. Look at that. Oh my God. With all the cream cheese inside. And then with the sweet and sour sauce that they gave me. And then I got a Mountain Dew right here. I'm going to open it up because I want to go ahead and start eating because I'm super hungry. I haven't ate all day. Mmm. Love me some Mountain Dew. I would have preferred Sprite. I didn't have a Sprite, so Mountain Dew will do. And then I got some chili sauce. I love me some chili sauce. And then obviously my fortune cookie. Couldn't forget that. And then my fork. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start eating. Oh, haven't eaten all day. I, I keep repeating myself because I'm that hungry. So I'm going to grab my chili sauce. And then put it all over the chow mein. Look at that. Oh, so, so good. I'm so, mmm, mmm, spicy, but so good. Okay, so we're gonna start eating. <clears throat> we're gonna start with some orange chicken. Orange chicken is the best. It's like sweet. And then with the chili sauce, mmm. It is so good. Okay, so I did a poll telling you guys if you guys wanted me to do basically like a story time, right? And I was like, what should I talk to my Peter Chips about? And I was like, mmm, about the time that I stole makeup. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So basically, I was five years old and I was very little. There's no justice for saying things and never steal anything. But I was about five years old and my mom was pretty young back then. Not that my mom was old, but you know what I mean. So my mom would wear really puffy skirts, very long all the way to her knee and long sleeve shirts tucked in. And she would do her makeup super pretty with like always red lipstick. That's like the one thing she would wear. So when I would go in her room, She would always have, like, her makeup just laying where she did her makeup. Like, her vanity, basically. So, she had always her makeup in the vanity. And for me, just seeing my mom so pretty, I wanted to be like her. So, I would be like, oh, my God, I want to be like my mom. I want to do my makeup like her. But I was, like, a five years old. Like, I had no clue how to do makeup. I think that's where, like, my passion for makeup grew. Just because, like, I would always see my mom. I'm going to rip this off because I feel like I will be a little bit more comfortable. And I'll feel like it's like a plate. There we go. Ta-da! Um, so, basically, um, I would, like, try to be like my mom. And I think that's where, like, my passion for makeup grew and came from. So, my mom had, my mom would use a Lauder Lancome. Um, because I remember she would always go to Dillard's. 
And it's so funny because in Dillard's, like, back then, they would wear, like, business suits, like, all the women's with suits and, like, skirts. And they would, like, try, like, tell you to try on your makeup and all this stuff. So, it was really, really nice to look back at memories. So, anyways, we're getting off topic. So, basically, I would go with my mom to Dillard's and I would see that she would get all this makeup. And she would lay it out so pretty in her vanity, right? So... I like my hands would just itch for me to grab every single makeup product but I was very scared like when I would use it I would mess it up and I would want to keep it for myself because I wanted to get like my own makeup collection so what I would do is I grabbed a Ziploc bag it was a pretty decent size Ziploc bag about this big and I would take like one day I would take a lipstick and I would put it in the little Ziploc bag right mmm The shaman is so good. Mmm. It's delicious. I need a little bit more of chili sauce though. I like my food kind of spicy. So, I started got reading one item at a time. <laughs> so, what I would do, one day I would take a lipstick. One day I would take an eyeliner. And my mom noticed. She was like, where is all my makeup going? And I do have an older sister, and she would ask her, my older sister would be like, no, why would I want your makeup? I have mine, right? So, so my mom kept noticing that makeup was missing. Um, she never told me anything. Um, I never, to this day, I don't even know if she kind of knew that I took it. So, I would grab the makeup. So, I would start, I started with the lipstick. I remember very vividly, it was the lipstick. I put it in the Ziploc bag and what I would do is I had a wood bed I had like a bed and it was all wood with like the bed frame and I had a whole bunch of stickers that were scented So I would always scratch them and they would smell like grapes But anyways when you would lift up the mattress when you lifted up the mattress you could see like the metals um, If this is like the metal if metals go like this I would put on the Ziploc bag like across it just toss it on top and then put the mattress on top so if my mom tried to look like underneath the bed you couldn't see it because it was stuck in between the metal part and the mattress so slowly but slowly slowly but surely i started just building my makeup collection and just started getting really into makeup and so every single day I would take something for her and then when I told you guys that she really started to notice I started like calming down and I was like okay I think you need to take like one product every month so I would take one product from her every month and then she really didn't notice that when I started taking like one just one item a month she didn't really notice at that time so up to this day I still need to ask her if she like knows that I took her makeup but I would legit like steal her makeup grow my makeup collection and I had my dolls and I would do like their makeup it was like the most hilarious thing ever. Mm. I like when it comes with like cabbage. Look at that. Mmm. And then I got <clears throat> mushroom chicken. Oh, delicious. Mmm. This one's still nice, warm, and hot. Mm mm mm. Mmm. So, so good. I haven't ate all day. So, this feels amazing. Okay. I want to eat some of that mangoes. So then eventually, my makeup collection started getting so much bigger um, that they would no longer fit underneath my mattress because it was getting like so bulky, the bag. So then eventually, I had to just store it in a box. So I had a cardboard box at the time. Um, I used to get the boxes from my dad's business. Mmm. Look at that cream cheese inside. So delicious. So I would get the cardboard boxes from my dad's business. Mmm. 
and I started storing all my mom's makeup in there. And then I was just so afraid I was going to get caught by my mom and she was going to whip my little butt. So I started getting so scared. So I was like, I think I need to like stop because like the box was like a decent size and it was getting pretty full. Foundation, powder, press powder, <laughs> eyebrow products. It was crazy. And at the time they didn't have like my mom wouldn't wear any eyeliner. She would just wear like the water line eyeliner and all that stuff. I started getting really scared. And I was like, you know what? My mom's definitely going to beat me up <laughs> if she sees all her stuff here. Because, guys, Lancome is not cheap. It's pretty expensive. So, my mom's money used to go on her makeup. And I was just so afraid she was, like, going to catch me. So, I... wait, wait till you hear what I did with her makeup. So, like, I'm telling you guys, all makeup was in a box, right? And I was like, okay, what am I going to do with all this makeup? Like, what am I going to do? Because a five-year-old, your brain goes like 100 miles per hour, right? So I was like, what am I going to do with all this makeup that I have? And so I started thinking, what should I do so my mom won't realize that I took her makeup? So <laughs> in the backyard, we had a dog. So since we had a dog... Um, his name was Calcetin, which is a sock. <laughs> so, Calcetin was trained to, whenever he grabbed a bone, he was, I, we, we trained him so he could, like, basically make a hole and then hide it and then, you know, like, basically, you know what dogs do. They grab the bones and they hide it in the dirt on the ground. So, he would dig a hole, put it in there, and then dig it back up. Mmm. It's so, so crunchy. So good. So, <laughs> I grabbed two bones. They were like the biggest bones we had. I grabbed two of them. I give them to the dog. And he starts just like digging holes. So when I see that he digs the holes, I literally take the bones away from him and I toss him somewhere else so he can go dig more holes over there. And once I had the holes already digged, I grabbed the makeup and I just jumped it and I literally grabbed a little shovel that my dad had because I would help him like with the garden. I would grab I grabbed the shovel and I started putting all the dirt back and I literally put all the makeup in a hole. <laughs> now that I think about it, I was so bad. Like and I'm pretty sure that makeup was like gone. It's like oh yeah. It's definitely bad now, but my mom never found it. She never found it. And then the dog didn't go back. He didn't, like, basically dig it back up because there was no bones there. It was just makeup, so it was nothing he could smell. So, if you ask me, I was a pretty smart five-year-old, if you ask me, because what's what five-year-old is going to think of those things? I was pretty smart. I would watch a lot of cartoons. A lot of Home Alone, too. <laughs> So, that's why I did her makeup because honestly, like, I started getting so much makeup that I just didn't know what I was going to do with, like, all this makeup that I had in this box. I was like, what am I going to do if my mom finds it or if my sister finds it and she cinches on me? So, that's what I did. I rejected it in a hole. Mmm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Those were so good. I love sweet and sour sauce. It's all gone. Completely gone. So, I was pretty smart. I wonder, I, I should probably tell my mom and get her reaction to see what she says. Like, hey, mommy. Remember all the makeup that you had? Yeah. I put it in there and I buried it. Buried all of it. He would be so mad. Look at that. Mm. So good. If you guys ever 
go to Panda. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite thing from Panda? Because literally, this is all I order every single time I go to Panda. This is legit everything I order. I'm so afraid of trying something else. I just love the veggies it comes with. I'm like filming outside the house. Excuse me. And then I've always wanted to try, I think it's called like the walnut shrimp, which seems so good. But again, I'm afraid of trying it and then me not liking it. Hmm. Which now that I think about it, I should really ask for samples when I go inside and order. Duh, Peter. Hello. I'm grabbing a little bit of that mushroom chicken. Today is such a beautiful day outside. It's like sunny, but it's windy. And it's like in the 70s. That's amazing. Here in Texas, it's always like 90s and 100s. And it's just like, oh my God. When it's 70s, it feels like such a beautiful day. I'm going to live it on my mind and do. I like their new little cup design. Super pretty. I like it. I am still so sleepy from Saturday when I had my birthday party. It just seems like I'm never going to catch up on my sleep. I am so sleepy and so tired. We went to sleep at 1 that day on Saturday. Well, technically already Sunday. We went to sleep at 1. Um, and then I got to the house. I showered and all that stuff. And I think I didn't fall asleep till like around 2 p.m. 2 p.m. I fell asleep like around 2 a.m. And then after that, um, I went to sleep. And I woke up in the morning because I, I fell asleep in my mom's house. We stayed over at my mom's house. We didn't come back home, so I woke up super scared because the rooster started singing at 6 in the morning. And I'm not used to that, so I woke up and I was like, oh my goodness, where am I? And then I looked around and I was like, oh, I sit at my mom's. <laughs> I was so scared. And then the next morning, like, he started, the rooster started singing at 6, and then it stopped at 7, and then the dog started barking at 7. And I was just like, you know what? I give up. So I woke up at 7 that day. Then that same day, I didn't go to sleep like around 2 a.m. Because I needed to start organizing for everything. I was like, tomorrow's Monday. It's back to work. I had to organize everything. What am I going to film? So I fell asleep at 2. And then yesterday, I fell asleep like at 1 again. So I need to really catch up on my sleep. I need Saturday to get here so I can sleep in. But I had so, so much fun on Saturday. My friends came over. My family came over. I think not all of my family came, just some of them. But I had a blast. We were dancing. We were karaoke. -ing. It was just so much fun. And then um, we wanted to go to the club after but we weren't like appropriately dressed for the club so we didn't end up going we just stayed there and then we kind of made it like i did it outdoors so we made a huge fire we were like sitting around it and we were karaoke and it was so much fun i loved it i had so much fun for my 21st i think it was great i wouldn't have had it any other way because i was telling you guys that jason my boyfriend he offered me a trip to wherever i wanted to he was like, it's either your birthday party or a trip. Mm. So good. <clears throat> so, I chose the birthday party. <laughs> I think any other girl would have chosen 
the trip, which I really wanted to go to Maui, but I've never been on a plane. And just to think that I'm surrounded by water and I can't swim made it even worse. I was like, no. Mm -mm. Because I wanted to go somewhere where I was like, okay, I want water. Where like I can take cute pictures. But then I was like, Maui, that's like surrounded by water. And then I have to take the airplane. And I was like, no, thank you. So I didn't know doing it. I just chose the party. But I also wanted to make memories with my family and stuff. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. I loved it. This is literally my favorite thing out of the chow mein. It is so good. I was going to get um chinese food from one of my ultimate favorite restaurants it's in chinatown here in austin it's called noodle house tc noodle house oh my goodness the best dumplings and the best chinese food it is delicious i love it but during lunchtime it gets a little too crazy and I didn't want to go there because I was like, it's really too crazy. So I'll just wait. I'm gonna grab some mushroom chicken, whatever's left. I was so hungry. You guys have no idea. I literally was like getting so distracted when I was trying to set up the camera because I kept smelling like the food and I was like, oh my god, I want to eat already. I want to eat. I'm so hungry. I'm getting kind of full now. I think I'm good. I think I'm doing good now. Because I'm getting kind of full. And I'm the type of person when I get really full, I start getting the hiccups. And I don't want to get the hiccups in front of you guys. <laughs> I got a small amount of dew. And I honestly thought it was going to be smaller. Like, that's small. But it's not bad for small, medium. For a small size. Small, medium. <laughs> for a small size. That's what I wanted to say. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so much fun eating and talking to you guys while filming a video. I think that's amazing. I had never done this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That way I know that you guys like this mabong. Let me know how I did in the comments down below. Um, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I said mabong wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. I always appreciate great criticism. Like, just don't be mean. <laughs> <laughs> don't be me just give me like criticism like good criticism and i'll like work on it and see what i can improve myself in better i didn't finish all of my food because i was getting really really full already but i will leave it and then when i'm done editing my videos when i'm done coming back from some errands that i have to run i'll definitely finish it all because it is so good delicious i love panda express so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up that way it lets me know if you guys like this video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so i can notify you every single time i upload a new video and i will see you guys on the come on amazon you really that is it for this video really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know how you do in the comments down below and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys Make sure you're subscribed so you can watch all of my videos. And if you want to keep on watching more and more videos, make sure to check out yesterday's video. You are not going to want to miss it. It's amazing. Also, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, make sure to subscribe to that vlogging channel right there. And if you can't get enough of me, here is my Spanish channel so you can go ahead and subscribe. Love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.